So I'm sitting here with my dear, dear friend of a long time, Luther Dickinson, man of, of many bands, uh, Black Crows, North Mississippi All-Stars, Phil Lesh and Friends, The Word. And we're here to talk about, uh, talk about guitars. My favorite, man. We were just playing a little slide guitar. You're in what, Open G? Yeah. How did you get started with open tunings? Was it like a slide thing? You know, it's a funny thing. I was a little kid. My dad was a musician too, a yeah. piano player and a, uh, a guitar player, and he grew up playing rock and roll in Memphis in the 50s. You yeah. know, that's like rock and roll heaven, hot rides and rock and sure, roll. Man. So, yeah. open tuning, man, so he and his band opened up for Bo Diddley, all right? Yeah. It's some right. local dance in Memphis. And they were watching his hands, and they were like, what is he doing? Right. Like they, and, and they stayed up all night that night mm -hmm. until they figured it out. They figured out that he wasn't in standard tuning, and that he could just be like, one, four, five. <laughs> and they yeah. figured it out. You know, I had my first guitar, I was like five, six, you right. know. And dad was like, learn three chords, I'll get you an amp. You know, mom was like, come on, <laughs> just tune it. Yeah. And so he showed me Bo Diddley. And you know, that's a great place to learn. Crazy. And I have fond yeah, memories right. of just standing there with my little amp. And I had that amp by then, you know. Yeah, just yeah. Like, yeah. So open D you started with? Yeah. Yeah, totally. And then, you know, then slide. My dad played with Rod Cooter mm -hmm. and a lot of the Memphis guys like Furry Lewis and Fred McDowell and Bucka White and my community, everybody played it with their fingers and everybody played slide mm -hmm. and open tuning. It was just part so of the So it's part the of the guitar. landscape. It's exactly. part of like growing up where you grew up. You're learning the slide. Just lock your thumb right there, like around the tenth fret, and then you got them. So I'm just saying, within the tenth and twelfth fret, there's yeah. so much information. Yeah. Then you go to the four chord. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Five chord. To worry about all these fingerings, and you can have a whole career. Yeah, you, you know, can have a whole career on the one. You don't have to change chords yeah. from Mississippi. You can just <laughs> stay on the one and just keep that going the whole time. Yeah, night. man. But but that said, I think the key to learning guitar with slide or with your fingers is one string at a time. One string at a time. You know what I mean? Right, like you, what? Like, you never get lost. Well, let's just say. Just learn your shapes and melodies and whatever you want to play one string at a time. And then no matter what tuning you're in or what key you're in, right. your fingers will, fingers and your ears will connect. Well, they'll know the, the relationships, fretboard. the relationships between like, you know, half steps, whole steps. Exactly. Yeah. And the melody you're trying to. And you know, to, if you're, you know, if you're minor or if you're major, exactly. you can figure it out. Yeah. You want to play? Yeah, let's play something, man. What do you want to play? I'll just strum a little bit. You, you just, I'll just go wherever and you just. I don't think I've ever seen you use a pick, to be honest. I do, I love them, you know? Every once in a while? Um, yeah, it depends on the tune. You know, it's just like you, you and like if I'm playing some old school 50s rock or swing or something, you need some heavy strings. Yeah, yeah. And I grew up finger picking like that. I was studying Mississippi John Hurt. Sure. Man, he broke it down. I just couldn't get all the information out. Right. And that's when I realized that you gotta get that one, two, three, four, one. You gotta get that backbeat with your thumb. He 
is to just sit there and chunk. You got to do it forever. And we I'm doing a rock and roll guitar camp and like, yeah. you can't talk your way out of it. You can't YouTube your way out of it. You got to yeah, practice it there. Son of a you gun. Just sit there. And it's such a simple thing. It's not over complicated. If you're finger picking, you're either pinching. Mm -hmm. Everything's a downbeat, or if you're getting your upbeats, which is really more natural, it's basically just like a waving high motion. Where your, fingers, your thumb and your fingers are just going back and forth. Lane, my guitar teacher, he told me, first thing he said when I sat down, was like, look man, if, it, if something that you're doing is natural and, and hard to you, just find an easy way to do it. You know, lots of cats are like very precise and rigid. So my style is loose and light, man, and, and I won't last the whole song down here. I'll cramp sure. up. Yeah. You know, so I learned from Arl Burnside, you could pick up here. Right. And he literally picked up here. And nice just stay loose. relaxed. You know, here, like, yeah. push my finger. He's like a, he's got a rubber finger. Right, right. Man, so, I mean, I don't the, even. That's disgusting. <laughs> I know, but that's the secret, <laughs> secret of my power. No, I love it, man. That's great. So keep it light and loose. You seen the George Benson? Uh, instructional video. Nah, man, it's so good because he's so like, good. it's a good, you know. He's like, man, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo. he's like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm the wrong cat to teach you, man, because I'm a singer. Right. I, I play guitar, but I'm a singer. Right. And then he sang everything he was playing. Uh, yeah. And and then he harmonized it, and but it was all coming from here and right. here. You know, he wasn't like a jazz guy, like intellectually thinking about right. my two sure. six yeah. two five. Right. Yeah. He's George Benson just singing with his instrument, you know. And if you're stuck on in your improv, if you just uh, you know uh, just start singing and scatting and yeah. follow your voice, mm -hmm. you know that's fun. Yeah. I usually don't use the guitar when I'm writing, mm. and yeah, I like piano and drums. Yeah. yeah, that's really my favorite way. Is just like get a beat, you know. Right. And then my friend Malcolm, he was like, "Well, transfer that beat to your guitar part." Like. Right. Okay. Which I've never really done before. That's something I'm, ex I'm looking forward to now. In some ways, that's got to be how you stay inspired. Right. You know, on, particularly with guitar playing. I mean, because totally. like, you've been playing guitar your whole life. Right. For me, I'd, I want to play, like, like you said, like a broke ass guitar. Or like, yeah. You know, I mean, or something that's like, you know, that's, that changes your mind about, about how you view the instrument. And something that I learned over the years as a songwriter. You say like when you're you got an idea and you got a spark and you're working on a tune, you know it's like there's a the muse has a style to her. Sure. You yeah. know the stylistic muse like oh this is a reggae song. Right. You know yeah. and then and and then so what I learned is uh, to follow that stylistic muse as far as you have to to get the song done, but then just try and break it down to the bare melody and maybe rhythm. The bare minimum. Just the bare, the bare minimum. What is the song? And reapproach yeah. it. Because you may be working with a country singer, or you sure. may be making a blues rock record. Yeah. Take get your song written, but then take it apart as if it wasn't even yours. Right. Right. Well, just take it down and reapproach it. Giving yourself it. the freedom to dismantle and then, and then put it back together however you see fit. However, yeah, exactly. Let's play something real slow. We're still in. Play something real slow and bluesy.
Yeah, man. We gotta do this more, Jackie. My brother from another mother. Uh, check him out. He, I mean, you know, Google him. Y'all know who he is. We love him. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Yeah, man.